All right, Labor Day weekend. We're getting ready to go Four Corners Rally down in Durango, Colorado. Got a group of friends here. We've got 14 bikes. Gonna go do Million Dollar Highway, Durango, Silverton, Telluride, the whole thing. So stay tuned. All right, so we did the Four Corners Rally Labor Day weekend starting on Friday, September 3rd. First time we've ever been down to the rally. Had my friend Zach along, uh, along with uh, 13 other guys and my son. So I guess technically we had 15 guys. So I uh, just ran an Airbnb up in the area. Uh, started from my place just outside of Park City, Utah. And the scenery just getting down there was fabulous. Oh yeah, absolutely awesome. Like the ride down was amazing. And what's this pass right here, right outside your house? Wolf Creek Pass. Yeah, yeah. that was an amazing way just to kick the thing off was beautiful riding through there. Yeah, Wolf Creek Pass down to Duchesne, Utah. And then from Duchesne over to Helper, there's another really nice mountain pass there. I don't know what the summit is there or yeah. the pass, but uh, beautiful. You get down into uh, coal country there. And then from Helper, we ended up going through Moab, Utah. Been down there multiple times on the motorcycle as well. So it was the first time for some of the guys ever seeing that part of the country though. We had some guys come down from Idaho Falls and elsewhere and they, they, they had never seen that part of the country. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And especially when you come out of Moab towards Monticello, like you just get all that contrast and you get the mesas and all the little hills and yeah. I mean, that was one thing I would categorize the beginning of this ride with was it was about what 425 miles or so from here to there that was our first day and uh the riding did not disappoint riding did not disappoint the weather was perfect uh just outside of monticello as you mentioned we uh, made our way into colorado uh, dolores into durango there's a, a beautiful drop right into durango colorado there and uh, yeah put down about 425 miles the first day um, just made our way there to spend a couple of days at the rally getting to the airbnb was kind of fun Getting yes. lost on some dirt roads. Everybody's on like street bikes, except there was one guy on the African Twin. Yeah. But everybody else is on street bikes, these heavy Harleys, and we're like on dirt roads, just lost, trying to find where to, where to go. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so GPS was not too good in that area and like pinpointing exactly where the spot was. And so we actually rolled up to some dude's house, right? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. what are these 14 guys doing on motorcycles showing yeah. up to my house? Yeah, to paint the picture, we're... we're I, we're, we're maybe a mile off road, you know, mile, mile and a half mile off road or something. We end up down this little road that took us another quarter mile or so, yeah, to a dead end. <laughs> we're turning around in this guy's yard and he just comes out. I expect him to have a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are these bikers doing? But he just gave us the nod and they were like, oh, we're not yeah, in the right spot. Turn around. <laughs> but yeah, we found it. Day one, uh, with the rally itself, uh, a lot of activities were based out of Durango Harley-Davidson. Uh, got to meet Trevor, the owner there. He's doing a lot of great things to help support this rally. The Four Corners Rally is, you know, one of these smaller rallies. It's not like a Sturgis, but there's a lot of riders that are coming out just to ride. So there's not a lot of, you know, commercialism tied to it, which is great, yeah. in my opinion, because it really is just bringing riders together to get out and ride. And, um, and then there's a few activities kind of surrounding it to make sure to bring people together. Yeah, and that was something that I really enjoyed as well is, you know, going to Durango Harley-Davidson, you know, they had a little bike show going. There was some vendors and stuff, but it was all really based around like, you know, oh, do you want to go fast or do you want to have a cool t-shirt? But it wasn't a ton of it, you know? And then each day there was only like one or two events that kind of pulled everybody together. And the rest of the time it was just go ride. And that was my first time in that area absolutely gorgeous. One of the reasons why we want to do the Four Corners Rally is there's one of the, in my opinion, the top motorcycling roads in North America in the Million Dollar Highway. Yeah, and the Million Dollar Highway, especially coming from Durango, it's, I kind of think about it in two sections because you have Silverton, Colorado, which is up at about 9,300 feet and kind of in the middle between Uray and Durango. And that section of road between Durango and Silverton was much different than the section of road between Silverton and Uray. Yeah, big time, yeah, yeah. A lot of sweepers through these mountain valleys, going up and over summits, up over 10,000 feet as well. Uh, but yeah, when you drop from Silverton down into Uray, you get these like ribbon style uh, switchbacks. There was a lot of traffic because it was Labor Day weekend, yeah. so we didn't really get to open the bikes up. But in those sections, I don't know that you can really, yeah, right? Exactly. You're just kind of holding on and like making sure you're watching where you're going. <laughs> the, the traffic stop like mid mountain was actually really nice because they were doing some construction up there. So they had the lights going. And so, yeah, pulling through and then waiting for the light to kind of run a cycle, it did open the road up a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you run into vans and campers and, but it, this, nonetheless, the scenery was just gorgeous. 
Uh, that first day was the uh, the flat track races were in the evening. I think that was the first big event that I went to yeah. that day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the flat track races, it wasn't a true flat track. Yeah. But it was more like <laughs> Which a we small, found pretty quickly. <laughs> it was a small like rodeo grounds. Um, but still, people got their motorcycles out there. There yeah. were some little cool events. I thought at first with, you know, there was a tribute to the 13 fallen soldiers in Afghanistan. Yeah. And there was, uh, you know, some, some touring bikes that came out there to pay their respects. But then I thought, wow, are those guys going to get out and run <laughs> run the arena there? Uh, but they got off the track and then you get all these little like pit bikes and people yeah. pulling, you know, putting these pit bikes into like a uh, chopper style, yep. you yep. know, pit bikes and getting out there and just having a lot of fun. Yeah, that size track was perfect for pit bikes because they had, they had a, I think they had a pro hooligan class and they did have kind of a run what you brung class, which was pretty funny. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think I think that track was perfect for pit bikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And day one, you know, we hosted a couple of people from the motor company that came out from Milwaukee to help support the event, kind of see what it was all about. So we took them up over the million dollar highway, had a good time with them as well. Yeah. Day two. Um, we split up a little bit, but then came back together for the hill climbs at Purgatory Resort. And that was quite a bit of fun. There again, we didn't know quite what to expect. This little smaller rally. Uh, Bill Willow was out there with a, you know, a motorcycle show yeah. again, uh, showing off some of the custom bikes, including this really crazy trike, right? <laughs> it was like a Frankenstein style trike with well, a VW it, engine. The trike got crazier as the event progressed because so you had the hill climb event and there was, you know, there was kind of your dirt bikes going up and most of the dirt bikes made it, right? Yeah. I mean, still sketchy, but, yes. but most of the dirt bikes made it. And then they had, uh, they had kind of, uh, it was like a scrambler hooligan. I don't even know what that class was called, but there was like some flat trackers, some hill climbers. So you had like a Triumph, you had a XR750, Indian, I think XR750. Yeah. And, uh, and those guys were, were running up the mountain. And then you had the wild class, the, the custom class. Yeah. And that's with the trike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I thought that guy was gonna kill himself. Oh, right? I was, I was like, I thought that he was going to stop, uh, you know, at that mid road, right? Halfway up. I was like, oh yeah, he'll just come up and then turn around. No, he went all the way. And I still think that on his first run, if he had had dirt tires, I think he might have made it. Yeah, he came really close. <laughs> so the hill was divided up into kind of three pretty distinct sections and it got steeper as he went. And man, he took a big hop getting up to that third section and lost some momentum. But yep, yep. yeah, uh, hats off to him for trying, right? Yeah, yeah. And but, he ran it twice. That was what was nuts about it. <laughs> he ran it twice, yeah. And you know, nobody, I think everybody thought the dirt bikes were gonna make it up there. They're kind of built for that yeah. type of thing, but yeah. it still was really steep. And some of those guys that not the last section couldn't make it up all the way. But then, yeah, as that Scrambler class got going with the Triumph and the XR750, those things don't have a lot of suspension. You yep. see them bouncing all over down on the bottom part of the mountain. Um, they had a lot of power to get up there, yeah. but um, it was a little sketchier. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, by the time you get to the trike, it's like, holy cow, this exactly. is nuts. <laughs> yeah, and I was I was about midway uh, on the, the, the steepest part of the hill. And uh, yeah, it was crazy seeing those bigger bikes go up because yeah, all of this power, you know, and they're roosting and everything but just the suspension. You know, when those guys would go down, a lot of times you'd hear them be like, oh, just bottomed out on me, you know? And they just couldn't couldn't make it because of suspension. So yeah, it was, it was really interesting. And then there were a couple of guys that tried to take the pit bikes up there yeah. too, right? That just <laughs> were short on power by the time oh, they yeah. got up there. But I think the real heroes of the day were the recovery guys. Because like I said, I was about midway on that hill and those guys, I mean, they're running straps down, especially with those bigger bikes. They're muscling those bikes up the hill. like. There was one guy, he had to have went up and down that hill like six times. I went up it once and I didn't want to do it again, so. Yeah, I saw as they were coming down off of it, it was so steep that they were just sliding down on the yeah. rear, yeah. right? And trying to get to the bike to, to make sure, and, and to make sure the riders were okay of course. too. There were yeah, a couple yeah. of those crashes that oh, yeah, it looked like the riders might've hurt themselves a little bit. A couple big ones. Luckily nobody was hurt. So it was, it was a safe event and just a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. And in the morning, you know, uh, there was a little parade through Durango. Yeah. Um, we missed some of that, but, uh, and there's bike blessings going on too. Yeah, I, w I honestly wish that I, uh, I, I didn't know how I felt about, it was the, the Ute tribe was doing bike blessings and I, I didn't know how I felt about it, but I, I wish I had been there for at least the experience of it, you know? Let's be honest, we were up a little bit too late the night before. <laughs> yeah, to get we were. There, so. <laughs> I mean, how are you gonna go to a motorcycle rally and not have a little fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> but everybody was safe. We enjoyed some great scenery. Uh, woke up to just beautiful mountain views every morning and, um, yeah, lots of roads in the Durango, Colorado area to get out and explore. Um, day two, we also did take the opportunity to go out and take the sports dress out. So oh, yeah. watch our separate video on that as well. Uh, the motor company hooked us up with four 
uh, pre-production Sportster S's, so we got an early preview of those things. Yeah, yeah, and that video is up right now, guys, and uh, before you judge it on how it looks, go watch the video, and when you get a chance, go ride one, because, man, it is, it was a blast. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. <laughs> yep, so then we straight shot it at back home. Another yeah. 425 miles back home, and uh, people kind of went on their way, but uh, yeah, watch for more content on our channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, thanks for watching.